Hi students, welcome to uh, Year 11 Chemistry and the Drivers of Reaction Module number 4. This is video number 5 where we look at the relationship between catalysts and activation energy for our energy profile diagrams. So we've now looked at our energy profile diagram and here is one on the left. You can see again on the Y axis we just have energy and on the X we have the progress of a reaction. This particular um, example would be an example in a biological system. And the reason that we conclude that it's a biological system is because the particular type of catalyst is a biological catalyst, which is called an enzyme. An enzyme is a particular type of protein, and these proteins are involved in binding to substrates or reactants uh, in order to facilitate a particular chemical reaction. Just like any other energy profile diagram, we can see that the reactants have a certain value of stored chemical energy, and that energy needs to be um, uh, released effectively. So what we have to do is we have to uh, put in some energy in order to break those bonds. And that amount of energy that we have is the difference between the top of the energy hill and the energy of the reactants. You'll notice too that in this particular example, when we do uh, form our products, we have a delta H value, which would be negative because the products are at a lower energy value, energy of the products, lower than the energy of the reactants. Now the purpose of our catalyst is to speed up the rate of the reaction. It's not involved in the reaction um, as a reactant, but it does act to speed up the rate of the chemical reaction. And the way that it does this is to reduce the value of energy of activation. So you can see a reasonable amount of energy is uh, required in this first diagram um, in order for this reaction to proceed. But when we add the enzyme, when we add the biological catalyst, uh, which we have over on the right hand diagram, you can see that the amount of activation energy is now very, very small. What it doesn't do is change the delta H value. You'll notice here the delta H value um, here and here are identical. These two things are equal. But what the catalyst has been able to do is lower the EA, lower the activation energy. And that is the purpose of the catalyst. Its whole uh, reason for being selected in a particular chemical reaction is because it has the effect of lowering the energy of activation and therefore speeding up the rate of the chemical reaction. Effectively, if we use collision theory, which we've been using to try and explain chemical reactions, then there are more, the, the amount of kinetic energy that the particles need when they collide with other particles in order to react is less. Overall, they don't need the same amount of energy, and they said, therefore, it's more likely that they'll have sufficient energy when they collide in order for them to react. So the main purpose of a catalyst is to lower the activation energy. We can show that often on the same diagram too, which is what you'll also see, where we come from our reactants. We have a much smaller energy hill, and then we link back up with the same spot. And so, of course, now you would just track it all the way down. Remembering that the energy of the reactants and the products is the same, the effect of the catalyst is just to lower the activation energy. So we just push that energy hill down. We'll give you a few examples um, just to make sure you understand this concept. And thanks for watching.